Talk about dehumanization, and I've talked about it too, how they've degraded society over the years on purpose, knowing exactly where they were going and saying they were going to do this. And they even gave you the reasons for destroying society. They said years ago, back in the 30s and 40s, and every decade since, that everyone who's brought up in a family is, is mentally ill. The American Psychological Association have said that too. Families had to go. That's why you had a war on the family. That's why Marx talked about destruction of the family unit. A very old agenda. And you must agree to everyone and everyone and everyone. We've got corpses now on art displays. They call it art, hanging on wires uh, and plasticized. And then we've got, of course, pouring granny down the, 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 into the to make the garden go green because she'll be uh, put into a kind of uh, liquid chemical soup after she's died, it's better to see than cremation. For the company that makes the chemicals, it certainly will be. And here's Do You Fancy a Jelly Baby? That's like a candy made from human DNA. It says here, um, reports last week that researchers could be just six months away from producing the world's first artificial meat, using thousands of stem cells bred in a laboratory sent a wave of fascination around the world, yet there's an even more ghoulish prospect ahead, the idea of eating artificial food made from humans. This is from The Telegraph. It may sound like science fiction, a new technique for making gelatin from human DNA is attracting increasing interest from research in industrial circles, According to a new study by scientists, again, when the new priesthood, the scientists from the Beijing University of Chemical Technology, the paper published recently in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry revealed that successful experiments had been carried out in which human genes were inserted into a strain of yeast to grow large amounts of recombinant genetically engineered human gelatin. So, I've always said, you see, we're really cattle, we understand that. And if, again, if you're in debt, then read, read the old Bible. You know, it's your best place to read this stuff. If you're in debt, the person owned you, your cattle, uh, and your offspring, by the way, until the debt was cleared up. And maybe your offspring too, you take many generations, especially if you tack in compound interest, which guarantees that. And they make money off us even when we're dying. They want you to be not quite, well, actually brain dead. And then they can harvest your organs and sell them around the world to very wealthy people generally. And um, uh, then they can hang you up on wire maybe and display you and make a buck off that too. But uh, you, you we're literally just animals basically. And now they're taking the gelatin and they're going to start feeding bits of you back to you. And of course the idea, apart from the massive profits, uh, is that the next part will be a bit more than just, just gelatin and your, your DNA and so on. They were putting, the American Agricultural Association were putting human DNA in the pigs since the 1970s. I can remember when it was all in the newspapers at the time. 